Ace covered her fears and insecurities with a tough, streetwise exterior. Her weapon of choice, disapproved of by the doctor, who nonetheless found it useful on occasion, was a powerful explosive she called Nitro 9, which she mixed up in canisters and carried in her backpack. She also wielded a baseball bat for a brief time before it was destroyed. She was convinced the doctor needed her to watch his back and was fiercely loyal to him. In turn, the doctor took a special interest in Ace's education, taking her across the universe and prompting her to come to her own conclusions rather than giving her all the answers. During her early travels with the doctor, Ace would often set out to do something and when she was successful at it she would jump up and yell, Ace. Ace enjoyed dinosaurs. Scrambled egg, hot buttered toast, kedgeri, kidney, sausage and bacon for breakfast. And lemonade. She also prefers the Beatles to Elvis Presley. Ace suffers from chorophobia, a fear of clowns. She also objected to racial prejudice. She was also a feminist who objects to chauvinism. Underneath her tough exterior, Ace proved capable of such compassion. And squeak when the Tremors master's kitling killed her cat. She felt sorry for Helen A. losing Fifi even though she'd led Terra Alpha with an iron fist. She tended to Kara even though she was a cheetah person. She was happy on the idea of humans and Silurians making peace. Even though Ace matured greatly over her time with the doctor, she always remained headstrong and on many occasions tended to charge into situations without completely thinking. As a result of this, in times of severe emotional pain, she was always likely to act rashly and occasionally blamed the doctor for his regularly manipulative ways and means. She believed that the doctor had the deepest, saddest eyes. Ace once told the doctor that she loved him. She did not want to have children. The doctor expressed a belief that she would either become a renegade time lord or lord president of the high council. Ace gave Mel the nickname, Donut. On another occasion, she referred to Mel as, the squeaky one. Ace once described the doctor as her guru. The doctor trusted Ace with his life. According to the doctor, Ace ate through biscuits faster than an infestation of mice. After leaving the doctor, Ace had difficulty trusting people, and would often take on a flippant tone of voice to hide how she truly felt. She tried several times to be a part of a long-term relationship, but her issues with trust and the fact that she never wanted to go further, led to many breakups, although she often remained in touch. She admitted that she had always loved speed, and was often noticeably in awe of large vehicles. Although she set up her own charitable organization, she was extremely paranoid of Torchwood, Unit, or the Countermeasures Group finding about the work that she used the charity as a cover for, continuing to develop Nitro 9, eventually Nitro 90, and examine any alien technology she could find. Although she often dreamed of seeing the Doctor again, when she encountered the 13th Doctor she was deeply suspicious, arguing with her and trying to let Yasmin Khan know how manipulative the doctor could be. And the tenth doctor. Although she understood Tegan's anger with the doctor, she did her best to keep her from acting on it and commented on the appearance of the thirteen incarnation well. She retained her sass, commenting on the master's cheetah sickness, preparing to fight, fighting Daleks willingly, and showing her annoyance on Graham's question about her age. She still loved the doctor and apologized for how wrong she was now she understood the seventh incarnation's burden as they made up. 